Uh, I'm an ambassador from the United States. Uh, I work for uh, the President and Secretary Rice uh, for the U.S. State Department. So the American people sent me here. And it's a pleasure to be sent to Seoul, Korea by the American people to talk about these important issues. I don't really think in terms of fear. I'll answer the question, but I don't think about it as a fear for the Internet. Uh, I really think more about uh, the opportunities the Internet uh, provides. So I guess if the fear, if I were to use that term, is that we don't take advantage fully of the opportunities that the Internet provides to people around the world. But it's not really a fear. Well, my hopes is, of course, the, the flip side of my previous answer, which is my hope is that eventually all of the world's people, directly and indirectly, will have access to the Internet and will benefit from the Internet. Now, the Internet, of course, is a network, a communications network, and we've made great progress in having over a billion people have direct access to the Internet already in a very short period of time. But with about six and a half billion people on Earth, there's obviously a lot of people who are yet to be connected and have access to the Internet. So my hope is that we'll be able to make great progress both in terms of partnering with industry, civil society, NGOs, and others to be able to get more people to have access, eventually, hopefully, virtually everyone to have access to the Internet, and then to have the benefit from it by allowing people to have access to the, all the world's knowledge. I mean, coming from a place like Elon University, you're very lucky because through the university, growing up in the United States, is you all have done, you have access to virtually all of the world's knowledge. But most of the world is not so lucky. Really, the internet provides for the very first time in human history the possibility that people, no matter where they are from, no matter what their parents did, no matter what their socioeconomic circumstances, can have access to the world's knowledge. And what's important is not only to have access, but then to be able to contribute to the world's knowledge. So people like you and me and others who have had such access can have access to new and different types of information, new ways of thinking, new types of ideas, so that we all can benefit from it. That's my hope, that's my expectation, and I'm sure that that's what's going to come to pass. Well, there are two aspects to this conference as far as I, as I think about it. One is the conference that we're going to have tomorrow and the following day, which is the official ministerial conference of the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD. That's a great opportunity because it brings together governments and representatives of governments at senior political levels, at the ministerial level, to have discussions about the Internet and things we can be doing to enhance people's uh, access to the Internet. We will be adopting at the end of this meeting a declaration that I think is going to be very important that will talk about the free flow of information, talk about an enabling environment to try to help people have access to the Internet and then benefit from that access by allowing for that free flow of information. Today's activities, though, which are really a scene setter for the ministerial, are important because it's a very broad-based set of discussions where we have civil society, NGOs, academics, governments, and others coming together to talk to each other, to exchange information, to learn from each other. That is itself an extraordinarily important set of conversations to have. I've already learned a lot just in the short couple hours I've been here uh, that will help me as we make policy for the United States government listening carefully to what others have to say, trying to understand better what is happening in the world, technically, socially, and in terms of the ability of people to express themselves. From hearing what others have to say, we can be in a better position to make policies that advance all of our collected interests.
Well, I want to thank you all for doing this project. I think by doing it and making the information accessible to people through the internet, it'll help establish a greater dialogue, not only within the United States, but globally about these important issues. So we can sort of learn from each other, listen carefully to each other, and just be able to expand the circle of people who benefit from the internet by allowing for the free flow of information, by allowing for greater discussions about technology and the applications that drive the new, uh, the new benefits that come from, uh, from having all of us be able to use and apply the internet. Without limits, that was two words I know, but still it's close enough.